Welcome Virgo. Welcome to your Law of Attraction reading. So we're going to see what comes up. Like what you actually are, your intentions are, what you're working towards, uh, where you are at that process. If there's anything that could be blocking you um, in your subconscious or, or in your life in general. So we're going to go ahead and start with the Law of Attraction cards. So let's go ahead and get into, get into this message. All right. So I hope you're doing well. And I thank you so much for joining my channel. So universe, what is coming up for the law of attraction, the abundance for Virgo at this time? For the sign of Virgo, what's coming up? Okay, so we have instincts. Nice. So trusting your instincts, or if you're not, you need to trust your instincts. We have grounding on the top. So there could be some... Uh, you know, like maybe root chakra energy that you need to do, maybe ground yourself more, maybe you're all over the place or overthinking something. And then on the bottom, we have friendship. So it could be something to do with your friendships. Um, you know, if if this is something about your tribe or the people you hang around with and you're feeling something's kind of off, trust those instincts, okay? There also could be a, for some of you, a friendship that is going to help you manifest something. So let's go ahead and get read this card here. And then we'll get the next card. It says, I act on my instincts and notice the signs and symbols in my life. So really what this is saying is that the universe is giving you some signs and some symbols. And maybe you are just overthinking too much or, or not trusting your instincts to be enough to pay attention to those. So pay attention to those signs and synchronicities that all the universe is sending you. All right. And now you might be, you know, how we like like to say, like, oh, I feel this way, but I don't know if that's right. You know, trust trust what your instincts and your intuition is telling you. So now we're going to get a Nature Speaks card for you. What's coming up for you, Virgo? Nature Speaks Oracle here. Mm -hmm. All right. So we have Face Your Fears Swamp. So there could be some fears that could be leading you off your instincts. Um, you know, a lot of times our soul will tell us something and then our ego starts playing tricks with us or we start overthinking and overanalyzing and you are ruled by Mercury. So you are that logical, overanalytical um, sign. So be careful. And right now Mercury is in retrograde. So you might be feeling a little off. So, you know, whatever your gut is telling you, trust that, okay? And then we have Veil's Parting Willow on the bottom. So there's something that's trying to, like, you know, connect with you here. But I feel like you are, like, maybe maybe pushing it off because of your fears or you're overanalyzing something here. So let's get some uh, tarot. No, you know what? Let's get the chakra first. Let's see if any of your chakras are off. You can um, get some healing or some... Uh, aligning them a little better by doing some uh, going to a Reiki therapist or you can even get them on YouTube there's a lot of uh, chakra energy and healing on there so let's see what comes up for you when we need to all to have those all those chakras working well because they uh, raise our vibration they align up and raise our vibration so let's see what's coming up for you Virgo okay so we have the crown chakra possibility so um, crown chakra uh, could be a little bit off. Maybe you, like, again, it's sending you those um, sign symbols, your instincts trying to tell you something, but you're trying to ignore it. So here's your, here's your message for this. It says, possibility. All is possible for me in this universe of infinite potential. I release all conditioning and limits that I have placed in my path and unknowingly. I believe, invest, and intend the possibility of a positive, peaceful, and loving outcome. All is possible. So this seems like there could be some self-doubt, um, some old patterns of belief or patterns of behavior that you have developed over the years, you know, for protection or just some trauma or challenges that you've went through, maybe even some abandonment or rejection. And um, it, that might be what's bringing up your fears and you're not trusting those instincts. Okay, so let's get another one. Ooh, that was way too many. Let's get another one. What other one wants to come up? Oh, now we have the third eye chakra. Nice. It's peace of mind. Yeah, so when we're in our thoughts too much, if we're overthinking, that just makes us anxious and uh, and and overwhelmed. So this is having that peace of mind, you know, trusting that and instead of like letting your mind overplay something over and over and stress us out. So this is peace of mind. I heal the poisons of my mind that limit and deny me by aligning with pure and honest thought and belief. 
I joyfully recognize that I am thinking and limiting thoughts from my conditioning and realign with thoughts and beliefs that serve my growth and well-being. I choose to question my my perspective and think loving, supportive thoughts. I am peaceful. So again, I really feel like this could be... um, Like I said, your planet is retrograde, Mercury, and, you know, it sets us off a little bit anyway. So, you know, people come from back back from our past to see if we've learned the lesson. We have technological issues. And, you know, with you being, um, your planet being Mercury, it could really be setting off your balance here and making you have some self-doubt, some fear, second-guessing, overanalyzing. So that's your other card. And let's get one more for you. So you might want to work on your third eye and crown chakra. Those are the ones that are connected more to the spirit realm and the other lower three are the ones that are connected more to the material world. So yours is all like higher vibrational spiritual cards. So let's go ahead and see if there's any other ones coming up. Oh, wow. Yeah, they're all the spiritual cards. Another third eye chakra. I would say definitely do some work on your third eye chakra. Um, Third eye chakra, you like could eat purple foods. Use some purple um, essential oils, carry around purple um, crystals like amethyst or something like that. And this says intuition. Yeah, so it could be like blocking you a little bit and making you a little anxious. So it says, I have intuition and I know how to use it. I trust my intuition. I listen to my inner visions, imaginings, and messages, and sense of knowing, allowing my intuition to guide me. I release the need to know and allow my intuition to develop a pace that's right for me. I am guided. So that's another thing too. Like some of the um, burgers I know like to have everything just right, controlled, perfect. So that could definitely bring up some anxiety if you don't know or or you're not sure about something or you have no control over it. So it's getting back into that peace and that flow and allowing things to come through and, you know, accepting that and not trying to fight against it and if your intuition is telling you something but you're like no i don't know about that it's kind of unknown you know trust that and go with it okay so let's go ahead and get into some uh, tarot cards and see what wants to come up okay so we have two so far we have the messenger of thoughts there it is your mind again that's that swords energy so there's some messages coming in and I really feel like you're overanalyzing, you're, you're ignoring it, you're, you're second guessing it, you might be trying to control it, but there's something coming in with this page of swords. And then we have go within, and go within is that high priestess. So I really feel like your uh, higher self, the universe is trying to tell you something, but you know, because of we are human, your mind is trying to control the situation and overthink it. So let's see what else is coming up. Yeah, I really feel like you're like second guessing a lot because it's unknown or you don't have any control over it. And then we have the five of emotion. Yeah, from disappointments, emotional disappointments. So, yeah. So, when, and then look at this creativity and abundance. The Empress is on there. Now, it is all about your intuition and self care. So, I feel like something's happened to you in the past that was emotionally disappointing. And now you're kind of like maybe not trusting your intuition or you're trying to control the situation, but it's really kind of blocking whatever you want to manifest here. So, let's go ahead and close this message with a daily healing card for Virgo, please. Daily healing card. Okay, we have this one. And it says, trust in divine order. You're being helped. There you go. There's your message. You're being helped. You know, pay attention to the signs and synchronicities. Trust that the universe has your back and is leading you down the right path. And and, and with your human thoughts process and your human body and your ego, try to stop resisting it. Because I feel like that's really blocking you. It's trying to guide you to where you need to go to manifest something. But you are second guessing it, wanting to control it, overanalyzing it. Um, And also, too, I forget when Mercury is going out of retrograde. I think it's February. But I do feel like you might have a shift of energy, especially after that, too. Because, you know, Mercury is a little wacky right now, and that's your planet, you know? And that has all to do about our communication and how we express ourselves and our logic and things like that. So that is your message, Virgo. So thank you so much for watching me and supporting my channel. I wish you the best. Take care. Bye.